it. I was like, <laughs> oh yeah, that's hella good. Hey guys, it's Danae from Hella Well, a YouTube channel designed to help you essentially feel hella well. I really wanted to create this channel to help you live the most vibrant, healthy life possible. So, that being said, today we're gonna make some almond milk. I don't know about you guys, I personally am lactose intolerant. Um, they say that like 70% of people are actually lactose intolerant. So, milk alternatives have been really big the last couple of years. And a lot of, unfortunately, the almond milks that are available in stores um, still have preservatives and what is it, carrageenan, carrageenan. If you can't pronounce it, you probably shouldn't be eating it and consuming it. In my opinion, just make it yourself. That way you know exactly what's going into whatever it is you're consuming. Um, and this recipe is really easy. All you're gonna need today, some sea salt, uh, vanilla, dates, and then of course your almonds. So. Let's get started. Uh, your first step, you're gonna wanna soak a cup of almonds. I used organic. I always use organic when possible. Um, you're gonna wanna soak a cup of almonds overnight. Um, after you've done that, you're going to strain them. After you've done that, we're just gonna add everything into the Vitamix. Um, I personally have had this Vitamix for five years. It's on its last leg, it's done me very well, um, but any kind of high speed um, blender is what you're gonna need. All right, so then we're gonna throw in some dates. I need a knife, a knife to cut open the dates. Um, dates have pits in them, so don't throw the whole date in, you're gonna wanna take the pit out. So the dates are gonna be the sweetener, so you can add, depending if you got a sweet tooth, you can add, um, more dates if you like. I personally like to keep it, you know, not too, not too crazy. Okay, then we're gonna add half a teaspoon of sea salt. Yeah, you wouldn't think put sea salt in almond milk, right? But it just gives it a nice little, <clears throat> a nice little flavor. And then we're gonna put in one teaspoon of vanilla extract, because vanilla almond milk is bomb. Dot com. That was really lame, sorry. Um, you could also put like cinnamon or nutmeg in this as well if you like. If you are somebody who likes your almond milk really thick, I would suggest using about one liter of water. I personally like my almond milk about on par and the same consistency as what you're gonna find in the grocery store. So that being said, I usually fill it up to about two liters. So you're gonna add about two liters of water into your Vitamix. Just fill it up, baby. This is so easy, right, you guys? It's so easy to make. I'm not gonna do quite two liters, because I find if you fill it to the top of the Vitamix, then when you blend it, it starts to uh, overflow like a volcano. Okay, I need my clock. We're gonna time this. You're now gonna wanna blend this on high for two minutes, all right? Dunzos. That was the longest two minutes of my life. Let's taste it. When you're making your own almond milk, you're allowed to drink it from the Vitamix. You can stick your tongue in it, you're making it. When you're the chef, you get to do whatever you like. So then you're gonna wanna get yourself a little nut bag. Yes, you need a nut bag. Um, I got mine at Whole Foods but they're available online, not that difficult to find. And I also reuse this, you guys, so you don't need to buy a new one every time. It is reusable. I just wash it with a little dish soap after and then hang it to dry and, and just like that, you can use it again. So <clears throat> super easy. All you're gonna do is pour about half of the Vitamix out. That's about half in here. And squeeze it on out. You wanna make sure you don't squeeze too tight or like too hard. I did that the first time I tried making <laughs> um, almond milk. I was like, <laughs> like sque squeezing the crap out of it. And I actually put a whole 
at the top of my, my nut bag. And we don't want holes in our nut bag, friends. No, we don't. And just squeeze it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Did you guys see that spray? <laughs> Stand back, everyone. She's spraying people with her nut milk. That doesn't sound very good, but. Um, okay, so once you feel like you've squeezed out all the liquid, which I've almost done, whew, it's a bit of a workout, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I forgot to grab a little bowl. You need a little bowl to dump out your pulp. Can you guys see this? You're gonna wanna dump out your almond pulp into a little bowl. <sighs> it's gonna be good, guys. I'm pretty excited to drink this. Love a good nut milk. Okay, and then we're gonna flip the bag back inside out. Okay, and then you're just gonna do that again. So pour the rest of it in. Boom, shula day. We are having fun, guys. Oh, and FYI, the taste. The taste is incredible. There's nothing like homemade almond milk. Whoa, I just keep screwing myself today. Um, yeah, after you've made your own homemade almond milk, it's pretty hard to go back to store-bought. There's nothing like homemade. But that's pretty much like everything, right? Like, okay. So same thing. Got all the liquids out. Uh, 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 uh. Give it a good shake. Okay, so after that, you're just gonna pour it back into your Vitamix. Mmm, delicioso. And then grab yourself a clean mason jar and just, I poured it back in the Vitamix by the way because it's got a spout and it's just easier to pour. Pour it on into your mason jar. That was so easy, right? That's pretty easy, guys. And there you go, you got your own homemade almond milk that yes, you can drink from the jar. Oh yeah, that's hella good. So we've got this leftover pulp. Remember this almond pulp? Um, I've got an amazing recipe for some gluten-free vegan almond pulp crackers. If you guys wanna see that, I'm gonna include the link below. So check that out. Um, other than that, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, give it a two thumbs up. If you wanna see more plant-based recipes, I'm definitely gonna be sharing uh, many more healthy recipes. Feel free to subscribe and we'll see you guys soon.